welcome back to Tarot Time with Andy. Thank you for being here. This is my vibrational reading. Please do your own research for entertainment purposes and allegedly. I saw on Facebook about the Murdo, Murdo murders. There is Alex, Maggie, and Paul. So this Alex guy, he is a owns a law firm, and his son Paul, 22, had accidentally uh, got into a boating accident while intoxicated, killing a friend by the name of Mallory. Uh, there was a trial set. Uh, the family was busy protecting assets. The wife uh, wasn't too happy with husband, it seemed like, and order, hired a forensic investigation into uh, their funds. Uh, in the meantime, um, this uh, Alex Murdo, who is the lawyer uh, that was busy hiding his assets, uh, was forced out of the firm. You know, he did graze his head. They say he basically probably grazed his own head with the bullet because of where he was located on a very uh, road that wasn't used often. It was just very quiet. And so anyway, so that it's just very, very suspicious. Uh, and they let him go because of the misuse of, of the funds from the law firm. And so anyways, it was a very superficial wound. It's looking like Daddy here is Daddy Dearest, and it's looking like Dad took out his wife and his son on June 7th. They both were found dead on their property. Very wealthy family, very feared family, I will note. Uh, people are terrified of this family. Apparently, they've got quite the history of being ruthless. Uh, long, long history uh, from, uh, I think it's North Carolina here, so yes. Very wealthy, very prominent family, very scary family. So I want to ask the cards about the father here. Let's get some energy on Alex Murdo. It's M-U-R-D-A-U-G-H, Murdo. Let's get some energy on the dad. Please be clear, Alex, spirit guides and angels, please give me some cards on Alex you know what, I think I'm feeling like I need to cut these. I'm going to do it because I just, I'm feeling I need to. So that happens. Here we go. Do a little cutting, twisting. Here we go. Okay, let's get this. Here we go. Come on. There we go. First card. The house was, the home was very unstable. Yeah, very unstable home environment. So it's in reverse. So that's just not a happy home right there. Four of wands in reverse. So uh, also, yeah, it's just that that's very unhappy. <laughs> let's let's get some more here. Some more on the home, on the home, unhappy home. Here we go. We have here, boy, ready to go to war. Oh no. Yeah, unsatisfied at home and the war card. Uh, okay, yeah sticking out gonna take it and victory in reverse not winning things are going really bad at home everything was going wrong the son's court trial coming up him getting let you know re removed from his own law firm being investigated by the law firm his wife looking into him probably wanting a divorce yeah uh, it's looking very guilty for him because he's the survivor here and he's the one who took the grazing bullet Anna supposedly was attacked. Uh, yeah, and then we have here justice and, oh God, justice in reverse, dishonesty and unfair. Yeah, I'm saying he did it. Just, just speaks volumes right here, absolute volumes. There's no more cards I need to pull. There are four cards right here, and it's telling me yes, 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 yes. And if you look at him in the face, He's got those classic shark eyes, very scary. He is a very scary looking dude. That was what I said. Nancy Grace is covering him. Uh, I'm sure uh, Joseph Scott Morgan will also, he does, uh, he does a lot of investigations and murders and he works with Nancy Grace and he happens to be a Facebook friend. He likes my cooking posts. So if you have any chance to watch or listen to those podcasts, you will probably learn a lot about these cases. So those are where you can learn about it. Uh, they do podcasts, so I don't really have the time for all that stuff, but I did read a clip, and uh, so, yeah, so it's looking really guilty here, you guys. So let's get more on this war, this Knight of Swords. 
Here we go, Knight of Swords. I got the Ace of Wands. So that is somebody who has the energy and the enthusiasm and is very hasty and fearless, very fearless. He was absolutely fearless. And we have here judgment in reverse. So this here with the judgment in reverse, this is, you know, self-doubt and inner critic. So he had a lot of self-doubt and inner critic going on, which gave him this hasty energy, probably thinking that nothing would work out for him. You know, his wife was going to leave him. Uh, his, the, he was going to lose all his financial assets and benefits because of the son being in a, uh, 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 you know, carelessness uh, boat accident, taking out a, a friend, a young woman. Uh, yeah, he looked like he was going to lose everything, er, absolutely everything. This man was losing everything. So I think that's why he kind of went to war. And he was very discontented. Yes, very, very unhappy. Conflicts. You know, he just, and he wanted that stability. He wanted his stability back. He wasn't happy with anything that was being given to him, all these problems. Uh, so yes, next card here, the Knight of Wands. This would be his son, I would say. He had to take out a son because this is a younger energy. I would say he being the kind of mindset that he is, I would put him more in the uh, emperor energy because he would be more emperor in reverse actually. Uh, so I would say this is the sun, taking out the sun, removing the sun, the knight of wands in reverse, you know, because he became a problem for him. Uh, I feel this would be him removing him and taking out his energy, t removing his son's energy from the planet. Uh, that's why he went to war. It was, he was targeting his son. His wife was probably uh, with him, and it became convenient because she checked on him financially. How dare you? This guy probably has some very dark energy as far as his mental health. Here we go. He doesn't want people to know that he's a liar. That's why he put that, he grazed himself with the bullet. Uh, he is a liar. He doesn't want people to know it. We got here, yes, the conflicts. He just wants people to think that they just have friendly fights, friendly fights, but I'm not some dishonest killer. Also, we have here the king of swords in reverse. So that is someone who's extremely corrupt, very, very corrupt energy. So he's very corrupt and he just needed something. He needed, he created the situation. This is creation. He created it. He looked out. What can I do here? Three of wands. That is taking the opportunity. It's also a jealousy card. Uh, so yes, I think definitely hands down Je guilty, guilty, guilty. And we have here the queen of pentacles. Yeah. And this would be the female energy, his wife. She was very resourceful. What did she do? She was looking into him. She was looking into the finances. She was looking into the finances, which created, she was going to be strong. She was going to strong. She was, that was, that showed a lot of character strength to look into him. He realizes that. But he also realizes what that would do would turn their family completely upside down with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse by doing so. By her strong character uh, and being resourceful was going to destroy the family finances and his financial legacy. Uh, and so he just was, he was at a losing, losing battle here. Absolutely. Yeah, totally guilty. Completely, totally, utterly guilty. I don't see any other way that he is not guilty here. Uh, let's find out what's going to end up happening now. What's going to end up happening to him? What's going to end up happening to Alex Murdo? Alex Murdo. For it would be double murder. Double murder and faking his own uh, accident. And it would also be for, oh, he would go away for so long. Misuse of law firm funds. And uh, attempting, uh, you know, God knows what else. Yeah, uh, interference with a, with a court case, a murder case at that. Uh, you know, or just interfering with justice. Here we go. That's a lot. That's a lot of charges. I'm not, I'm not a cop so, <laughs> or a lawyer, but I can see there's quite a bit there. That would be a lot. That would be probably, God, at least two life sentences. Here we go. So what's going to happen with them? What's going to happen with Alex Murdo? 
Alex Murdo. I'm going to keep shuffling here. Boom. There we go. Two of Swords. So they're going to try and create balance for him for starters. He had to get a, he had to get a partner. He had to get someone to represent him. Uh, that is the intellectual being a sword. Uh, that is communication and intellect. So that he has to make a decision also. He's got to find someone to partner with. And we have here, because he will be out of commission, the Knight of Pentacles. He's not going to be able to do it for himself. The just do it is being able to just do it, being energy. He would be able to just do it for himself in a lot of respects. Uh, the Knight of Pentacles uh, is uh, someone who is trustworthy, Mr. Reliable, good results coming in. It brings change. It's forthcoming. He cannot be forthcoming. He cannot speak for himself. He is not Mr. Reliable, and he's clearly not Mr. Trustworthy, and so he cannot bring the change for himself. He has to hire someone, so that is why that is like that. He has to hire someone. He cannot represent himself in this situation. Ooh, nice. It's not going to be good for him. Transformation. Major transformation in his life. Mm -hmm. Life as he knew it is going to possibly be over with, or he will commit suicide. An epiphany. Yeah. So an epiphany with the death could be taking yourself out. He did, he did do a false suicide attempt, you know, or, or actually make it look like someone was after him. I take that back. Uh, and he didn't really mind probably if he kind of screwed it up, but uh, he just grazed himself. So yeah, it's looking like this Quite possibly, he might try and go for the real thing if they don't arrest him in time. And, and I don't even know if he's arrested. And then we have here, ah, oh, geez, the devil in reverse. So, yeah, exploring dark thoughts. So, oh, my. Yeah, this is looking like if he can't have his way, he'll take himself out. There's no way I'm going to prison, cards. These are no way are you going to lock me up. Uh-uh. I'm going to find me a lawyer, but there's no way I'm doing time. Uh, then we have here, yeah, he's not even nostalgic. There's absolutely no harmony in him. And he doesn't have friends to call on right now either. And we have here also King of Cups. He's going to put on that whole emotional support on that loving father energy, even though he doesn't feel nostalgic. And then we have here the Seven. Seven of Pentacles. He has never been through this experience before. Uh, this is something that's going to be new. He did not, he's going to act like he did not plan and cultivate this, that I am a loving father. I did not plan and cultivate this. And then we have here, or take out my son, the page of pentacles in reverse. So that would be kind of, for me, the sun card. And then we have here, and no healing, you know, the four of swords in reverse. There's no stability, you know. The four of swords is, you know, recuperation. Uh, that is someone who's going to heal. You're going to heal. Here, you're not going to heal. There's no ability to heal in this position. So he's going to act like, you know, he was loving and he's never going to heal from the losses. Uh, and he's willing to take himself out. He's completely, utterly willing to remove himself is what I'm getting here. So I wouldn't be surprised if he did. I really, if they don't get to him first. I don't know where he's at if he's, if they have enough on him yet to even arrest him. But don't be surprised if he did, to be honest. Let's get some dark cards on him. We got here, ah, gilded regret. Mm, too late, too late. Sorry, it's too late. Can't bring back the dead. Here we go. And he's a false person. Yeah, that I'm a loving King of Hearts dad. No, nah. no, nah, he's really not. Nope, he is a scary, scary dude. His eyes look very psychopathic, by the way. Extremely psychopathic. They look dead, like total dead eyes. And the house. He liked to be in control of the house, the stability, most every. That's kind of like the home card. Is that's you know that is uh, sanctuary and peace. So for him, uh, that he was a false person with gilded regret and what he did uh, within the home, really. Uh, and it was supposed to be a place of sanctuary and peace, but it really wasn't uh, because we have here the gilded regret and the false person. Under the surface, I'm just going to grab that. Yeah, loyalty. 
So, you know, he knows subconsciously, because I pulled it from the bottom of the deck, uh, subconsciously he, he acted, he, he wanted people, he wants people to think he's loyal. It's sort of the subconscious uh, situation. He wants that. He really wants people to think he's loyal. Uh, and, but the bottom of the center of the deck here, we have here sickle. We have sickle here. So sickle is someone who works against you. This is danger. It is a verdict, a cutoff, rejection. That's who he truly is, cutting ties, cutting ties. So he, he wants people to think he's that loyal, loving father within the home. He's a false person who regrets what he's done, and he is a sick individual in essence. That is who he truly is, and he's very dangerous. And he made that verdict and that decision to take them out. That he was the judge, jury, and executioner in this situation. So, yes. Get some more energy. There we go. We got here the healer of the ages in reverse. You know, he figured no one was ever going to heal from this uh, losing all their money. Uh, you know, he was really worried about his finances, but he, I would say he just never thought that they, were, they could ever recover from such a loss. And then we have here the, in, you know, the indecision. At some point in time, he did feel like, which road should I go down? Uh, what do I do? Uh, you know, it's a very kind of uh, mystical card. It's kind of dark and, and eerie, and it is dark and eerie. And he did have that, that, that thought, like, okay, what road do I go down? You know, it wasn't off the table to take them out, to wipe them out which is a pretty dark individual to even consider it. Uh, so instead of taking the losses, uh, he decides I have to make a decision on their life, uh, how I'm gonna handle this. Uh, their, their life became in his hands because he figured he could be judge, jury, and executioner, so he was gonna decide. He decided he had the power to weld to decide. And then he had here, the, he was going to use clarity of thought and personal vision his personal vision was the only thing that mattered, his personal vision. And he knew that he could not walk away, walking away in reverse. He would not walk away from the situation. You could not walk away from the situation. His son was up for, you know, that case. So there was, there was just no winning. He has to win. That's the problem with the antisocials, narcissists, histrionics. They have to win, especially those narcissists and the psychopaths, sociopaths. They must win. You must lose. There's only one winner, and it's going to be me. It's not. You will lose. I will be the winner here. And then we have here confidence that I pulled in reverse. He didn't have the confidence that he was going to succeed. He knew he couldn't walk away from this. He was going to lose everything. So he went to drastic measures. Absolutely the worst, uh, most biggest betrayal you can ever put on a family member he went that low. He is that low vibe. Low, low vibe individual. Here we go. Let's get some more energy. Boom, that pot. We have here friendship. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. So he looks at people as friendships. So there's probably no love. And we have here peace. He wants to act like he's peaceful too. Friendship and peace. So he does understand friendship and peace. But, oh, we have indecision in reverse. So that's kind of like he made a deciding factor on something that we have here. I use my intuition in all aspects of life. Okay, so he does not use his intuition. His intuition is blocked. And he does understand the power of friendship. He does understand the power of peace, or at least the appearance of it, uh, is how I would say that. So it's not, you know, and we also have here imagination. He likes his, to use his imagination in life. So, you know, he, he is a human being too, as, as well as being a killer. He does have those human elements of understanding and having cognitive ability of understanding that friendships and peace, imagination uh, are important in life. Uh, and he does probably utilize those things. He utilizes those to his, um, to his benefit. Uh, coming off cool and collected when you're really not. Uh, by acting peaceful when you're not. That would be part of the social mask. Acting like you're a friend when you're truly not because he already decided. He, there is no decision. He, they don't like anyone. Everybody is, is, is against them. Everybody is competition and I must squash you. I will be the only winner here. I am the, the only one that must stand still and you must all fall to the wayside. And that's really how their minds are. 
and they, they think about this, they imagine it. Uh, they are supreme leaders. They like to take people down. So they have a really deep fantasy world of their sadistic ways as well. Uh, they have a lot of paranoia and they create a lot. They, use their, they do use their imagination a lot uh, in terms of how they're going to pull off a lot of their stunts and how they can manipulate as well. So a lot of manipulation does require an ability to be creative uh, and be able to imagine it and really to think it through. Uh, and, and also being able to keep it all straight. Uh, we know a lot of your narcissists can't keep it straight, but psychopaths can keep it straight because they're, they're highly intelligent. So I think he was probably better at keeping most of his stuff a secret until the end of their life when things really pile up. And they do commit suicide. They do commit suicide when they're faced with prison uh, and they're not willing to do that. They've had the life of luxury. He has lived an elite life. Uh, there is no way you're going to reduce him to that. And so they will do it. So I would not be surprised if they do not have him in possession. This guy is going to remove himself off the earth plane. So that would just, um, yeah, I'm sure he would pay for his own uh, lawyer. So it wouldn't be a, a cost to us. But hey, I don't care. <laughs> I think he's guilty, guilty, guilty. I hope you guys enjoy this. Till next time, like and subscribe. Bye.